Welcome back friends, this is Salomon Jagwe, I'm back with an exciting new insight and today we're going to be talking about animating metahumans using only audio. Take a listen at this. Jay walking on a track that's a renegade Go against the grain, gotta do that every day Hard to meditate when everything is MMA Kick down so many times for better days Let him hate, let him get afraid yeah. When you walk straight, all they do is get away Fork in the road now, what you gonna do? Take it straight for the chase, 100 proof In the pursuit of happiness You could lose it all, still come back and get it No pacifism, it's uphill battles can't see the other side like battleship That's a beautiful moment to finally be at the top Looking at the foundation just to look at the plot I wonder what it's like living the life of rock stars and pop stars Maybe we should give it a shot And today I think it's that day Manifest what I gotta say In my mind I've been wanting to make it just so bad So I'm taking this last chance before it's too late Put your hand to the sky if you feel the vibe If you're ready to ride just know it's vilified How you supposed to keep track with that dream inside It's not too late to try, what will you decide? Alright guys <laughs> What you've just watched This is real time Let me pop this out so you can actually see it This is in the Unreal Engine Right? It's all real time and you can see the sequencer down here. You can see go against the grain. Gotta do that every day. This is all in real time, and it's playing back in real time. But the audio was made possible because they've added a new feature in the Unreal Engine 5.5 that makes it possible for us to animate meta humans using audio. Right before, in the past, when we used the meta human mesh to meta human, we had to use the depth sensing data from the camera and of course we'd use the video and the audio but now we have an opportunity to just use the audio it's able to use the audio to generate expressions as well so like if i drag this over here go against the grain gotta do it every day you see how the brow is furrowing so it's taking from the information that's gathering from the audio file to be able to bring that to pass, like to be able to create something like that. And this is cool. <laughs> so you've had, you've seen me do this video before where I've used the same audio in Acuface uh, using Iclone to animate a metahuman using that, but also animating a, a character creator file. But this is a metahuman using just audio. And I'll show you the folder here. Over here, this is the actual file itself. Jay walking on a track that's a renegade. And then I've layered multiple other beats that I partnered with a, a music producer. His name is Andrea Baguma from Uganda. And then I was able to lay all of this out on this audio, uh, on the sequencer. So you can see the different parts of it, right? The audio track is, a, is a, at the very top over here. So I can actually mute it so you can just hear the beats. Right, so and then I can unmute it. But the way you actually get this to work is first you have to add a meta human to this project, and that meta human has to come from your bridge. So make sure you log into your bridge, and then you go to your meta humans over here. As of the recording of this video, you're gonna have to rely on the meta human presets, even though. Again, this is the preview version of the Unreal Engine 5.5, so you won't be able to see the previews of the characters. But once you pick one of these and download it, it will show up like that, and you'll be able to download like the highest quality. Right now, it's the only the highest quality. Again, if you're watching this in the future, chances are they've already updated uh, Unreal Engine 5.5. But if you're just rec uh, watching it as of the recording of this video, this is what you're gonna be seeing. And I'm thinking this is gonna be updated as we go along, so you'll be able to see the characters. And then just send once you've downloaded this, then extend this to the to your project, and you'll be able to find your meta humans in your meta human folder. So they are here the meta humans that I've downloaded so far, and then I have sequencer over here. I have created a sequence, and you can see it right here. So that's the one that's running behind here. So the actual like conversion of the audio, again you just have to drag and drop your audio into your project folder. So I uh, let me go to my MetaHuman audio. So for example, this is the audio that I have right here. To be able to use this, 
I all I need to do is go in the folder in which again stay organized. I've put this in my MH underscore audio, which is MetaHuman Audio. So you right click in here, go to MetaHuman Animator. I should have mentioned this. You need the MetaHuman Animator plugin. So under the plugins folder, go to installed. Make sure you have the MetaHuman Animator. And this is for five point so it's available in your on your launcher. Just do go to your library, your catalog, you'll be able to search for it. Or even on the marketplace, it's available. So you make sure you install it for Unreal Engine 5.5. Okay. And once enable it, it, will, it may ask you to restart your project. Please do that. And then when you right click, you're going to go to MetaHuman Animator. And instead of doing going through all the other process that we used to do, just simply go to MetaHuman Performance over here. Give it a name. You can just call it maybe MH Audio 1, for example, and double click on it. And then here is where things are a little bit different. Okay. First, instead of using depth footage, just go ahead and choose audio. This is the this is the key feature right here that they've added. So now you can rely on just audio to be able to derive the facial animation of your meta human. Okay. So once you have that. Then select the audio. So let me actually select a different audio here. Uh, let's see. So here's one we can use. Living for the now, long as time allows. I'ma keep on switching different styles. Keep creative on a cloud. Sweat is on my brow because I'm running. All right. That's good enough, right? So we've picked the audio file. And then we've also picked, uh, the, we need to pick the control rig. So the control rig, we're just going to use the face control board or control rig. And when you over, mouse over, you can see it's the game underscore uh, game slash metahumans common face. Select that one. And then the visualization is going to be use your character. So I'm using character face mesh, which is Chandra. It could be any one of them. Well, what I found is that actually the if you pick one of these, they're going to work on other characters as well. So depending on the character that you have in the scene, select that one. So right now we have Chandra. We'll pick Chandra, for example, and say yes. So you can actually see the character here. Okay. Now scroll down a little bit further. And you can check some of these like uh, generate blinks, which is important. You want the character to blink. And uh, let's see, show frames as they are being processed like let's expand this so you can see what the, so we don't you don't if you want to hear it you can do that but you don't really don't need to do that you can just uh, turn this that off and that is the range so if you have like a really long animation you just want to test you can also trim it to just a few uh, frames for you to practice and then you can also do the transform track you know or you can do the contrary or you can disable the head movement all right so those are the key things. Make sure the audio, it's, uh, it's from, instead of depth footage, using audio. And then pick the track that you're going to use. And I highly recommend don't put music underneath. Get like a clean track that doesn't have tr or like all the music in the background. And then the control rig, we've already picked that one. Let's access this a little bit. So make sure you select the face control board, uh, character the Chandra face mesh for the character. Again, this this is Chandra in the scene. So make sure you pick the name of your meta human, and then that's what, that's ready. And then when you're ready, uh, go go ahead and process. All right. So allow that to process all the way to the end, and when it's ready, it will turn green, and you can see the keys have been generated for the face, the face control face control board right and if you play it back you can see living for the now long as time allows i'ma keep on switching different styles keep creative on a cloud sweat is on my brow because i'm running on these tracks just to keep them running back you know the drill to court and back and this is amazing at how accurate this is <laughs> this is based on just audio the audio track that you're using so uh, make sure you save here and also export the animation and just give it a name that is easy to remember. So save. 
and uh, create. So you notice that uh, enable head movement is turned off, that's okay. Go ahead and create. All right, so a new uh, audio file has, I mean, a, a new face animation has been created, so you can close this for now. So the next thing is to go to your sequencer, right? So right now we have this. We can actually, let me save this, save all. Uh, let me create a new sequence. And we'll put it in our sequencer folder over here. I'm going to stay organized. And we can actually call this number two or one, depending on the character that you're using. Save it. Okay, select your character, go into the outliner over here, uh, drag and drop your character onto the sequencer. Okay, and we won't need the control rigs just yet, just delete those. And next, the face is the most important part here. So click on the plus sign here and add an animation. And this is the one. So remember the name. It's important to remember the name that you wrote you export it as, so say, select that one, and let's play back. Okay, so now we need to actually bring the audio track over here. I have a content browser that's floating around somewhere. All right, let's look for that wrap. I believe it was, let's see. Living for the now. That's the one, so just drag and drop it here, yes. And we're just gonna line it up. So let's minimize that. Let's press play. Living for the now, longest time allows. I'ma keep on switching different styles, keep creative on a cloud. Look at that. And if you want, you can add additional frames. It's just for example 2000 and see how far it goes. Go to the very end. And let's uh mark that as the end point. Rewind and let's play back. Living for the now, long as time allows. I'ma keep on switching different styles, keep creative on a cloud. Sweat is on my brow, cause I'm running on these tracks just to keep them running back. You know the drill to court and back, and I've been practicing my crap. That's the memory of Kobe. What could be a bigger legacy than making it a story? Every day gets better, no doubt. So we gotta hold out. I got a dream to pack the show that's sold out. It's all about the progression. The daily grind is a test, and someday it's less of a grind and more like a day with a blessing. If you having real problems, I feel bad for you, son. There's like 99 problems, many share the same one. Yeah, so keep your head up and get up. I bet tomorrow is better. Striving to be who I see. Follow that to the letter. <laughs> All right, how many problems do you have? 99? All right. I pray you don't have any. You, I pray you don't have 99 problems. If you do, I am totally praying for you. Even one problem. But anyway, this is the animation that you've just gotten. So... This can be repurposed on any MetaHuman going forward. So this is an Unreal Engine 5.5. And I think they're probably going to continue updating the MetaHumans uh, for 5.5. So all these features that we've been seeing, it's gonna, only going to get better and better. So this is what's amazing about Unreal Engine 5.5 and the new feature of using audio to drive the MetaHumans. And you know what's cool is that the... Audio is also creating tongue movement. Look at this. You see that? So there is tongue movement happening as the character is rapping. So let's play back so you can actually see it. Let me unmute. Louds, I'ma keep on switching different styles, keep creative on a cloud. Sweat is on my brow, cause I'm running on these tracks just to keep them running back. You know the drill to court and back, and I've been practicing my craft. That's the memory of Kobe. What could be a bigger legacy than making it a story? Every day gets better, no doubt. So we gotta hold out. I got a dream to pack the show that's sold out. It's all about the progression. The daily grind is a test, and someday it's less of a grind and more like a day with a and that's what's really cool, is that it's able to capture the tongue movement really, really well. So anyway, guys, <laughs> that's what I wanted to share with you. This is one of those uh, highlights that were mentioned at Unreal Fest Seattle 2024. And I also want to give a shout out to Nick, one of my uh, meta, no, it, <laughs> I was going to say meta human fellows, no, one of my <laughs> fellow uh, fellowship uh, friends that I met in the Un Epic, Epic Games and Animation Fellowship. So he his name on, on YouTube is Pixel Professor. 
So he has shared some awesome insights uh, about this particular feature and he was actually attending uh, Unreal Fest. So thank you, Nick, for your awesome insight. So anyway, guys, this is what I wanted to share with you to show you that there's a new feature that they've added that makes it possible for us to animate metahumans using audio and it captures the tongue movement, the facial animation, and um, the blinks currently are not working exactly because I don't see it, the character blinking, they always shoot. But uh, this is, if you think considering this is the preview version of this, it's only gonna get better, yeah. <laughs> so let me know guys if you're using it or if you plan on using it, if you actually downloaded the Unreal Engine 5.5 and what your experience is. And let me actually see the performance while this is playing back. So it's F11, yeah, shift tab. It's about 46 frames per second, right? And let me actually try something else. Let me go to edit, uh, project settings, and let's test mega lights. <laughs> Wait, where are my project settings? Okay, over here. Uh, let's search for mega lights. So mega lights are enabled right now. So if I turn this off and turn it on, so you see the difference. So when the mega lights are on, there's something that happens that there's almost like a, a it, it is definitely a difference between mega lights with meta humans and with or without. So this is without the mega lights. By the way, it's just really a toggle because I, I, someone shared this with me and pointed out you really just have to find it inside of the project settings and either enable it or disable it. So this is without mega lights and you can actually see the hair looks different. And the moment I turn on mega lights, it makes it look like that. <laughs> so <laughs> um, I'm torn because this should look better this way. Let me actually uh, do F11 and see the hair looks better i guess with with without mega i see the, they're better highlights when i turn on the let me see can i scale this a little bit more okay yeah let's put it over okay over here let's drag this over to the side so when i turn on mega lights that's what it does so it's almost like it's all the hair start casting shadows and this is without the mega lights. So when I press shift bar, like shift space bar, that is without mega lights. This is with mega lights. Without. 